Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about her periodic trends for metal reactivity as well as non-metal reactivity. Okay, so for metal reactivity, for our group trend, as we go down our group, our trend is going to increase. Okay, so the reactivity is going to increase. So to make this simpler, let's go ahead and take a look at our group one element. Okay. So the only difference in our group one element is that they have different energy levels. Now, all of these elements all want to give up their one valence electron that they have in their outermost shell or their outermost energy level. Now, the reason why it increases as we go down is because remember your nuclear pole, well, the closer your valence electron is to your nucleus, the harder it's going to be to let go of that valence electron. Okay, compared to something that's lowered down on your periodic table, your valence electron is very far from your nucleus. So it's actually easier for you to get rid of your valence electron in your outermost shell. Okay, so that's why as your um, trend, or I'm sorry, as you go down the group, your trend is going to increase because it's easier for you to lose your valence electron. Okay, now your metal reactivity as you go across the period is going to decrease. Okay, so this has a lot to do with your valence electrons too. Okay, so remember in group one, you only have one valence electron to get rid of versus in group two, you have two valence electrons you have to get rid of. Okay, so which one is going to be easier to react to? Well, that would be group one, okay? Because again, it's easier to get rid of one than it is to get rid of two valence electrons. So for your metals, as you go across the period, it's going to decrease because of the number of valence electrons you have to get rid of. Okay, so now for your non-metal reactivity, it's going to be the complete opposite. Okay, so remember that your non-metals on your periodic table your nonmetals want to do the opposite. They don't want to get rid of electrons. They are trying to gain electrons. Okay, so that's the really important difference um, between metal reactivity and nonmetal reactivity. Okay, so as we go down the group, our nonmetal reactivity is going to decrease. Remember, again, nonmetals want to gain an electron. So if we're looking at our atomic size of each atom, well, it's going to decrease as we go down because the ability for our nonmetals to attract electrons gets harder as we go down because of each energy level we keep adding as we move down the periodic table. Okay, now your period trend increases as we move across the periodic table. Again, a lot of this has to do with the number of valence electrons you have. Okay, so for example, if you were nitrogen, you would need three more electrons to gain to complete your octet rule versus if you were fluorine, you would need only one more. So who would have an easier time um, or who would be more reactive and eager gaining that, those electrons? So it would be your group 7A elements that are going to be more reactive, okay? Because again, they only need one more compared to nitrogen and group 5A to where they need three more. Okay, so that's why it increases across the periods.